Hi, uh, as of now, boys, we cover the SQL uh, server uh, course up to store procedures. Uh, let's see a uh, few more topics are there uh, related to some uh, alt trace, alter table, and all alter table indexes. Views few more topics are there. Let's cover uh, some uh, constraints also there, unique constraints and all. Uh, check constraints, unique constraints. We will cover in this session up to views. Uh, from views, I will uh, I will do separate video on views and indexes. So many people asking uh, views and uh, indexes related. So I will cover here related to uh, alter statements and unique statements and some uh, constraints. Let's see. Here, um, all table statement can be used to add, modify, or drop columns. Add, modify, or drop columns in an existing table. Note in SQL, we use the term drop when we delete an object such as table, column, etc. Whereas we use term delete when deleting a row. Right? If you want to delete rows, use term delete. If you want to delete columns, tables, use drop. Right syntax alter table table name add column column data type you have to mention right if you add it add it if you want add one column to a table you have to mention like alter table table name and add that particular column name and you have to define that data type of that column right for every column there should be it in it's an individual data type every column is an individual data type right so here alter table db order products uh, add product code product code uh, column we want to add it is an integer when we add a column to a table it always gets added on to the end of the table it is always added to end of the table let's see if you want two more columns like multiple columns we can uh, uh, give the syntax like this alter table table name add column column data type comma column to column data type right alter table products product code integer date added date and time date and time which it's it's a data type and notes vacar like that you have to add columns to table alter table right like this first suppose modify existing column you have already uh, we have a table and in the columns you want to modify an existing column so alter table table name and alter column uh, column column name column name data type we have to column we have to write a column followed by column name we want to alter the data type we want to change if you want to change the data type of the column particular column see particular column data type you want to change like this you have to change alter table table name alter column column name and which data type you want to mention you can mention here previously uh, previously column data type had 20 characters here but here i added 50 very long product names and there we want to strength uh, product uh, product name will be uh, increased so that's why I want to change the data type 20 to 50, 50 bytes, right? Size. We can also use the statement to add on a not null constraint also. Here you can add on one extra not null constraints. Not null constraint also you can add. Alter table, previously not null constraint is not there to column. Again, here if you want to add not null constraint, here we have to uh, write the syntax like this alter, alter table, table name, alter column, column name column data type and null constraint not null okay let's take a look at how we can use an alter table statement to drop a column simply drop a column a table like alter table table name drop column column name which column you want to drop that, that column you have to mention drop drop column drop ta alter table sorry alter table table name drop column column name alter table db products drop column right here in this example the column called column call color as well as all the data in this column is permanently removed from the database will be permanently removed from the 
database see if you want to rename a column in a table if you want to rename a column in a table right sp rename sp rename uh, schema name table name schema name table name and that new column name new column name on which column you want to rename like this you have to uh, instead we need to use a built-in system stored procedure called sp underscore name of the syntax it is a built-in it is a built-in system pro stored procedure sp rename is a built-in system sp rename built-in system stored procedure sp means system stored procedure stored procedure to rename to rename system stored procedure like this you have to rename we just write uh, column name and we want to rename see and we have a comma and then in a single quotation we write the co new column name and then comma and then we write the type of of object that we want to rename and in this case it is a column object side right so we we just write column in uppercase and this is also in a single quotation let's take a look at an example some example see in this example we are renaming the column called product name from the products table to uh, just pro and sql name see see just uh, if i want to rename sp underscore rename in the which from which table products table products table rename can also be used to rename other types of objects however it is not recommended to use sp rename for some types of objects such as stored procedures and views this is because there are some metadata system views uh, which store the object code and these will not be updated right dbo dot products dot product name product name here dbo schema and products is the table name and product name product name is the column product what is product name product name is the column and i want to change it product name column into prod name and here mention what is that object it, 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 that is the column right so column name we have to change right so that's why mention in column in single quotation see all the table challenges let's see some challenges the first challenge is add a new column called termination date on the HCM employees table give this new column a data type of string so uh, for HCM for HCM employees table, for HCM employees table, just I want to add termination date column, right? Here, how to add all the table table name? Which is the table name? Employees HCM all table table name. table table name uh, add column add column column name what is the column name termination date date data type 
day. from Hedgeson and For the second column, I'll write two SQL statements to change the data type of the first name, last name columns to Anva 60. Use to alter table, alter, alter table, alter column statement. One for each column. data type to anvar cat 60 anvar cat 60 and column and yes, so
Like this you can stand. rename to rename column name phone to main phone in the OS customer table note that this column does not use an alter table from customer table just name to first of all rename database what is that customer OAS customer dot what is that column name phone 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 it will be in quotation single quotation phone comma new column name main phone phon main phone comma data type for uh, name right main main it's a column everything will be in single quotation and pivo Let's check uh, Let's start from OES customer Here Phone is there Phone to main phone you have to change Should be there Let's check phone to main phone it was changed so sp rename in a single quotation of the table it came a table and column let's check whether it will be can we change the table name also let's try to input them first of all table
everyone. Okay, let's see. Some people are thought challenge, right? Solutions simply. Have the solutions. Start a table. Table name. Add termination date. Start a table. Customer to add column first name. Add a table. Customer. Column after column, how we change the first name, the data type, and second name data type. Right? Second name execute at a time. It will execute at a time. Not an issue. Customer's last name, first name. Data types you can see. You can put like this. In that way, you can complete thought challenge also. See. constraint let's see up to now we saw that alt table now constraint uniquely constraint how it should how it will be useful uniquely constraint let's see uniquely constraint is a type of integrated constraint a uniquely constraint ensures that columns specified in the constraint can only have uniquely value if multiple columns are specified in the constraint then only uniquely combinations of the column values are allowed the unique key constraint is uh, similar to a primary key constraint. However, there are uh, some important uh, differences, right? Uh, one of the important questions they asked me in entry: What is the difference between primary key and unique key constraint? Unique key. Uh, primary key: A single table can only a single table can only have one primary key constraint. A single table can have multiple unique key constraints. A primary key can ensure that values are both unique key and not null. Unique key constraint ensures values are unique key but not but does the allows nulls also, right? Okay, so one thing that a primary can key constraint has in common with the unique constraint is uh, unique data. A primary key automatically creates an associated unique index, and unique constraint automatically creates an unique an associated unique index. An unique constraint or automatically a table of where we might use a unique constraint. So here we have a table. The primary key automatically creates an associated unique index. An unique constraint uh, automatically creates an associated unique index. Both are unique index. Primary key automatically creates an associated unique index automatically creates associated unique index okay let's see table products 
ప్రోడక్ట్ ఐడి ప్రోడక్ట్ నేమ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఐడి కావాలా ఇట్స్ ద ప్రైమరీ కీ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఐడి ఇస్ ద ప్రైమరీ కీ can add another primary key function because the table can only have one primary key however we can add any key constant on the product name column uh, we can define constants and uh, create table statement in this case we already have existing table and therefore we will use uh, all table statement to add on this new constraint right to add new constraint constraint by using alter table statement we can add constraint alt table table name add constraint 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 name unique key alt table table name add constraint constraint name constraint name is unique key key unique key column name see alt table product add constraint constraint to uk product products name uk products that constraint name is uk product products name and unique key what is the constraint type of constraint unique key constraint there should be a name we have to assign for every constraint you given even primary key also and product name on product name column we have to unique key index does the same thing right as a primarily mentioned we create a unique key constraint it automatically creates the corresponding unique key index for us okay let's now go for a quick uh, challenge here challenge Uh, use an alter table statement to add a unique key constraint to the dependent name column in the hcm department's table right let's see pause the video and department where is hcm department hcm department sorry in hcm department use a alter table statement to unique constant to the department name department name what are the department id department name see department id for department name there is no one no, no. normal constant is there i want to add unique key constant also right alt table table name department add constraint 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 name from dip dot dip dot department name department score dip name and unique 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 key unique key constraint on which column department right as of now see the depo for department name there is no unique key constraint only back of which an optional constraint is there so all the table after altering this table that one more constraint uh, unique the dp dp name con unique key constraint will be added refresh refresh it check the columns
create constraint for index table they are already in the function name already created and why it is not showing to us I think we have to refresh table and go to department table Department unique function not showing here. Let's see in further solution. table XM department add constraint test and unique okay so variable department here right click and refresh the column Let's fulfill three calls. Let's see if I can get this one. So department, department name. See dip department name uniquely constrained. Dip department name is created, right? It is showing here. To run the query up here again, you see uh, it is covering that metadata view. Department name metadata metadata view. So you can see uniquely constraint like this metadata view. Or how uh, you know how to check metadata view on right? I already given that uh, um, query metadata view query like this. You can check. Constraint. Let's see check constant in next video. It will be. Uh, hi, hi. Um, in this video, let's see uh, related to check constraint and some indexes and views. Right. Uh, let's start the session. Here. A uh, check constant is a type of integrity constraint which a constant can be ha applied to a column and checks that each value in the column meets a certain condition. A check constant cannot refer to a column from another table. A check constant cannot contain a subquery. See, alt table table name add constraint, constraint name check column name and the condition. This is the syntax of the check constraint. The 
constraint constraint name every name should be give given to the constraint for example all table db what dot order details here and add constraint check order details quantity check quantity should be greater than zero so you can't uh, you can't give uh, less quantity than zero like the chicken still ensure that the column called quantity will always have a value greater than zero quantity should be always greater than zero it could not be uh, minus one minus two less than zero like that if you give any c quantity well, here the table of products is there right let's say we want to put a constraint on the column uh, we can do that by using operator in the check condition let's take a look at how we can do that by using uh, um, alter table statement see alter table add constraint add constraint that can name and check constraint name and check check in check color in red blue yellow black white and this constraint ensure that con colored column can only have one of these possible values see here color color column should be uh, any one of this color red blue yellow black white if you uh, enter any brown uh, black uh, black any yellow uh, sky blue like that you enter the color name it did it, it it will not accept that that the table will not accept only this table will accept only red blue yellow black white as per the constraint the constraint will check whether this color or not and if this the other than this color it will not insert the data into the table this is the benefit of check constraint see now uh, in parameter we used that's why two parentheses here we used I have to specify the values like red blue yellow black white like that right as see an alternative to use the constraint is to actually create a table a parent table and then implement a foreign key on the child table so in this case we could have actually created a new table of colors and then we could have a uh, some foreign key on the products table referencing back to the color table right however in this case with the color table would only have uh, say uh, a color id color id and a color name you won't have any other uh, like other attributes and therefore in this scenario it's actually a better to just do a check constraint if we look at something like the product category and then would be uh, that would be uh, a candidate for what we would what we would actually uh, like uh, create a separate table for product categories and we would replace this with a category id see and this is because in a uh, in our product category table we must all like to have a number of other attributes which are applicable to each product category okay with the table with, uh, with that aside let's now go for a quick challenge I use an alter table statement to add a check constraint on the salary column in the annual employees table to ensure that salary is greater than or equal to zero. the table from departments table add constraint which cons constraint salary from the table salary here departments table which can employ sorry not departments which employ Here it is employees table. 
the employees table in employees column salary column numeric and nals are there null constant is there add constant uh, em em salary Click this equals check constraint on salary salary should be greater than or equal to zero. Right? As of now for sal we will know keys for salary and all right. These are the keys pharmacy, PK and pharmacy and one more query will be at EM EM salary check constraint. EM sal salary check. This is the key will be added. Going to add. It is VFS. Just refresh. Column for salary column. Uh, here key is not will not show. Just check the key. Constraint, not key. Constraint. Just click in constraint key. Salary, check constraint. Right. Salary, check constraint greater than or equal to zero. So data birth, data birth should be less than higher than. One more constraint is there. Like this, you can check. Right? In that way, you can create check constraint. Okay, constraint, check constraint. Salary will be greater than equal to zero. Right? Exit. constraint so uh, stop here for constraints let's check constraint let's start a fresh video for indexes and all